Harvey's damage, both physical and emotional, still lingers here in Southeast Texas communities. But tonight, many have turned to a greater force for some relief. Governor Abbott declaring Sunday a day of prayer statewide for Harvey victims, followed by President Trump expanding it into a nationwide event. Reporter Amani Payne from our sister station in Waco joins us now live from Nederland, where a prayer was held. And Amani, how was the turnout tonight? Kevin and Leah, I'm here at Bulldog Stadium where hundreds of folks gathered to lean on a higher power to get through the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Local pastors gathered for a community prayer session and many people say they walked away feeling replenished. The Texas sun beating down on Netherland didn't keep the folks there from arriving by the dozens. To Bulldog Stadium for a night of prayer and healing after Hurricane Harvey ripped through their community. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. Pastors normally known for preaching and guiding called upon tonight to save lives. And Lord, I pray that you would make your people, your church, to be the ministers of comfort in such a terrible time. This pastor working around the clock to comfort those in need. They, there's so much work that has to be done. There are just lifelong memories that are just lost now. People who have been just devastated. Music playing and hands raised. Community members listened in. As evacuees, first responders, and those who lost loved ones in the storm were prayed for. At, when all those people go back to where they came from, when things have a new normal here, that people are going to need a lasting hope, and that lasting hope comes from Jesus. A higher power many are leaning on in these trying times. We were able to get out and come to our stadium today and pray and worship God. There's so many that can't do that. As the saying goes, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And that certainly proved true tonight. And as the water recedes and folks here turn to a new normal, they hope the watching world will continue to be there every step of the way. Don't leave after the excitement is over. People went on to say that the community showed so much love and unity at tonight's event, and they say that's the kind of backing that they'll need during the difficult recovery process. For now, we're live outside of the Bulldog Stadium. Imani Payne, back to you.